So just to clear up a little confusion on these batteries, the tray on my Ford 5000 is pretty darn big. I mean, it's a large battery tray. The footprint is eight and a half by 19 and a half inches, which just so happens to fit this battery. This is what they call a 4DLT. LT stands for the low top and it's a 4D series battery. So my tractor will fit this battery, but it's a gasoline engine. So if you look in the manual, it specifies a 17TF, which is a Ford New Holland number, an F120 is an 80 amp hour battery. That's what you want to use for the gas engine. And it just so happens that that was what was in my tractor when I got it. Obviously the battery was no good. So this is the clamp that was on that particular battery. As you can see, it's probably three inches short of what was supposed to be in there. But this is what they would use in the gasoline engine. So to replace that battery though, it's close to $300. I think it was like $320 for the time you get tax and everything and you're out the door. So this one here is 860 cold cranking amps, but also this is what they call a F-150 if you're using the Ford New Holland number. And this is a 128 amp hour battery. This is what they would use on the diesel version of that tractor. Either way, this one will fit. But it's a much bigger battery. This thing probably weighs 75 pounds. So this is what I ended up going with. This was like $150 compared to that $300. So as a result, I'm gonna to have to just make a different tie down for the battery. And I'm in the process of doing that now. I'm just gonna weld something up so I can keep the original in case I ever wanna go back to that $300 battery. So this battery is like 75 pounds. It's gonna be interesting to see how I get it from the floor up to this battery tray. It might just take a lot of messing around, but. So here's that uh, battery hold down that I fabricated for this thing. That battery fits the tray just about right. Looks nice. <laughs> 